Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Bait Shop from 2008. It's directed by C.B. Harding and stars Bill Engvall and Billy Ray Cyrus. There was a period in the aughts, dying out just a little before 2010, that blue-collar comedy had a huge showing in film. With films like this, Delta Farce, Beer for My Horses, Health Inspector, and Willis Protection, three of which featuring Larry the Cable Guy, unfortunately being churned out to perhaps tens of fans. I do not see the appeal of the blue-collar comedy crew that headline these movies, and furthermore, that is not an opinion I will apologize for. But do remember, it is only my opinion on the matter, and I've admitted to being an idiot. If this sort of thing is your bag, baby, then I weep for your soul, but I'm not going to deny you you're happy. It's just not for me is all I'm saying, and I don't understand it at all. Furthermore, the other thing this film is about is fishing, and I don't get that either. I can't think of anything more tedious and boring than fishing. Well, that's not totally true. I, I could try and sit through the veil again. I think if given the choice between fishing and the veil, I choose fishing. So if I find it so pointless, why is it in my collection? Well, I have a very good friend that was being funny about a decade or so ago and gave me this as a gift, and this is my first time watching it. I've only held on to it because it was a gift, given as a joke, but a gift all the same. Oh, you want me to talk about the movie? Fine. It's about a guy named Bill that has to win a bass fishing competition or he loses his livelihood. I think it's supposed to be a comedy, but I was confused by that because it never seemed to even attempt humor. Except for a few mean-spirited stabs at it that seem more cruel than funny. There's another thing that needs a bit of a setup first. See, the guy in Bill's way is Hot Rod Johnson, who is, I guess, the Michael Jordan of bass fishing? Anyway, one of the co-hosts of the bass fishing tournament keeps biting his lips seductively whenever he talks about Hot Rod Johnson. So much to the point that I hope Hot Rod Johnson let the guy blow him after the tournament was done because that is clearly what he wanted throughout the last half of the movie whenever he had to deliver a line about the character. Maybe that was another attempt at humor on the movie's part, but it doesn't feel funny, just pathetic. And that is the best way to describe the movie, Bait Shop. It's not funny, just pathetic. Which is why I'm giving it an alarmingly low F. That's 50 decrepit crit from Nightmare's levels of awful right there, yikes. Tomorrow I watch what might be another stinker gift for the first time, Balls of Fury. See y'all then.